Sydney. Who would have thought that nine years ago when we met, we would be here today? Just a couple of kids without a care in the world. Now we are here today, still navigating through this life together. Tyler, I have loved you for almost 10 years now, but today I get to become your wife. My name is Mason, and I'm the little brother of the groom here. Although it always hasn't been super easy being the little brother, me and Kyler have always been pretty close. And though I've had many blessings in my life, having you as my sister has been one of the greatest of them all. I couldn't have made it through any of my life challenges without your never-ending support and love. Although you never had any good boy advice because you got lucky. <sighs> Kyler always made sure to let me know I was still little brother if I was out of line. I specifically remember at a high school baseball practice, I was chirping probably a little bit too much more than I should have. I told him that I was the better baseball player and that I could easily hit off of him, even though he was probably one of the better pitchers in the state at the time. Kyler responded by immediately putting me in a trash can. <laughs> I'm sure he turned around while I was still in that trash can and told me, you're still little brother. <laughs> I am so proud of how far we have come. I still remember the first time we said we loved each other or our first kiss in your front yard when you missed. These little moments are things that I will hold on to forever. I fell deeply in love with you when I didn't see anything coming. You are and were my answered prayer. Because 10 years ago, I was on my own path of finding myself. I was lost and shattered, but you saved me. But you stepped into my life when I needed someone the most. I can't wait to stand by your side throughout this life, starting today by watching you become my husband and someday a father. I've known for a long time that you are the person I want to spend a lifetime with. You are my safest place and the person who feels like home. I know my dad is smiling down on us today and is so thankful for the man I chose to spend the rest of my dates with. I wish upon everything that you had had a chance to meet him. He would have loved you, Kyler. You've always felt like family from day one, and I don't think there was any ever doubt that you'd one day become a perfect fit to our crazy little family. Although it took nine years, there are sure times where I don't know how you handle her, but you chose her, and I'm so glad she found a person for life. I promise to encourage you. I promise to laugh with you and be your best friend. I promise to love and care for you through all the good and bad. From this day forward, I promise to be worth it, worth your time, worth your energy, and worth your love. I promise you all of me, all my life, to the love of my life and my greatest friend. Today and every day after, I love you. And lastly, I promise that wherever this life takes us, it will always be me and you. I love you. Because Kyler and Sydney have desired each other in marriage, and we've witnessed that, we've heard them make promises, they said their vows, they've exchanged rings, I now pronounce them, husband and wife, you may kiss your bride. You two have been through a lot, all the stages of life together, but I think this one is going to be my favorite of them all. So finally, before we wait any longer than nine years, let's cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Manbeck. Woo!